Hi everyone, welcome back. So, first of all, I should say welcome back to Sammy's Fresh King Recipe Channel. So today, I am going to be doing a live cooking video with you. Um, I know the timing is a bit late. Um, actually, we should probably wait for a few people to join before I start speaking. Whilst people are joining, I'm just going to grab my uh, my lid. Hi everyone, welcome back. So, hello everyone. To those that are new to the channel and people that haven't seen me before, I am Sammy. I am the creator and the owner of Sammy's Fresh King Recipe Group on Facebook and Sammy's Fresh King Recipe Channel here on YouTube. Now, tonight we are going to be making one of the most brilliant recipes that we have ever done in our group. Um, lots of people have been asking how you cook it. But if there is already a video up on the channel, but I thought to do a little video to get people, because I haven't been around much because of my illnesses and stuff. So I thought I'd jump back in by doing a little video with you all so you can see live. And I'm not going to cut anything out. It's going to be a full video um, on how to do the wonderful recipe that is the chicken and egg fried rice. Uh, I'm going to do it live here on YouTube with you all very, very shortly. Um... Just a little footnote, if any of you have not joined our group and you wish to on Facebook, we have thousands of recipes. We are at almost 20,000 lovely, lovely members. Um, and I'll pop a link in the description below um, for a bit later on uh, for you to join if you'd like to join us. So, as most of you know, this is my wonderful machine, my six litre model. I have a three litre underneath in the cupboard. Um, I am going to give you the timings and I'm going to give you the recipe for this lovely, lovely dish and you can cook with me if you wish to. So without further ado, let's get into it and see what happens. Normally this is where an edit would come up and like whilst I'm getting all my stuff, but this is live. So if you've got any questions whilst I'm doing this, please feel free to ask. If you'd like to know anything about your PKP or your machine or how it works or if you haven't got one yet, should you buy one? Uh, if you want to know anything at all, pop your comments below and I'll answer every single one of you. Uh, anybody want a shout out, just let me know and I'll be happy to give you a little hello. Uh, so, your ingredients for this recipe. Now, I'm doing this live, as I said, so most of my, my, most of my ingredients are frozen. I won't lie. So, this just shows you how cheap you can do this meal. You don't need it with anything because it's so filling on its own that you can just cook it as it is and just eat it. That's all we do. This recipe goes down an absolute storm in our house because everybody loves it. So I'm going to show you the ingredients and what you're going to need. And, and we're going to get cooking. So what you are going to need. So to start with, I have got just a simple bag of Asda's diced chicken and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my machine now as I'm talking to now some of your machines first of all are different to mine now I've got the old style um, PKP so I've got one of the ones the first ones that came out so mine is the six litre and I have the stew slash soup function on mine rather than your browning function so for those of you who've got a new machine it would be your browning function first okay so what you're going to do, um, I am going to preheat my machine now and then I'm going to pop this chicken into the machine and as it's browning off, I'm going to shred my chicken so that it is thinner and it's not so thick and bulky like this. We're going to shred it a bit because that's how it's preferred in our house. So I'm just going to switch on my machine. So I am going to take my machine over to stew slash soup press start now that's going to start heating up so whilst that's heating i'll show you the ingredients of what you're going to need so any form of chicken just not chicken with the legs because you'd have a bit of a field day trying to get the bones out so any diced chicken any chicken fillets any breast of chicken any form of chicken you're going to need that to start with you're going to need some peas again just is that iceland or asda iceland just a, I've got frozen peas, you can use petit pois, you can use 
any form of peas, but again, not mushy. So just a normal bag of peas or tin of peas. Nice and cheap this is. Again, just cheap as does long grain rice. You're going to need some soy sauce. I use the light soy sauce because not many people like soy sauce in our house and we have to hide it when we put it in the machine. So light soy sauce I'm going to use, but you can use the normal or the dark soy sauce if you need to. In my, um, my lid that's stained from curries and all sorts is two chicken oxo cubes just broken down. And at the bottom, you can see that, just broken down. And you're going to need to fill that up with water in a little while. Then you're going to need salt. No, that's pepper. You're going to need pepper and salt. Again, this is showing you how cheap it is. So for this whole meal, we have a bag of rice that was like 27 pence. You've got a bag of garden peas that were 50 pence. Chicken, which was two pounds. So two pounds, 30, 40, 50. So 260 Bottle of soy sauce, £1, £3.60. Salt and pepper, you can get for like 50 pence each. So that's what? £4.60. And finally, with last but not least, you're going to need two eggs. So you can do this dish for under a fiver, feed everyone in your family, and you can also freeze it, which is brilliant because anything that you can freeze batch cooking is brilliant so my pkp is now heating up so we're going to get into the cooking stages so i'm just going to pull my machine over here so you can see me do it well if i can let me move this board out of the way and pop that over here out of the way in a minute right so what i'm going to do so that's preheating on the um the meat, uh, the stew slash soup, your function will be browning to start off with. So what I'm going to do, without my eggs rolling off, I am just going to cut into this bag of chicken. Oh, whoops a daisy. I've turned, no, I thought I'd turn that off and I haven't. It's fine. So I'm going to open this bag of chicken. And it depends how much you're going to do. I'm going to be doing enough to freeze as well. So I'm just going to pop in some chicken. You can hear that sizzling away already. So we just pop in the whole bag because we're going to be batch freezing anyway. So that is the chicken in. Now to start with, I add my pepper. And then I add some salt. Just a little bit. Now to this, it is optional, you don't need to, but me, we like it like this. I also add in a little tip for you all as well. If you didn't know about this, this is what you do. You ever wondered why the ridges on the bottom of your spices are so rigidy? This is the answer. So I want to use a little bit of mild chilli powder. I always put just a little bit in. Now, what you do is open up your lid and you know sometimes when you shake it and you're like, oh, that's so annoying because it sticks and you have to tip it back out and do it like that. This is what you do. This is what it's designed for. You tip it upside down. Now, none of that's coming out, right? But this is what you do. There's a ridge on this one and a ridge on this one. You do this. And that is now adding, scattering the chilli powder over my chicken and that's what they are designed for at the bottom now i didn't know that which is brilliant so there's a little tip for you all today so i've pre-boiled my kettle so there's a nice boil on there now i know some people don't like using metal accessories because you mark your bowl but i can't stand silicon so metal it is for me so i'm just gonna move these around now if you saw my live q a earlier on i was talking about these fabulous crocodile mitts the link to these will be in the link below you get the two mitts which is silicon you get it is instant pot branded you get the square that you can pop underneath your pkp and stand it on you also get the suction seal lid 
So what you do is, once your food's finished cooking, say if you want to put it on the table, say if you're doing mac and cheese or stew, and everyone's around the table, this goes in the middle. What you do is take out your bowl, put it on the side, or you can leave it in here and just use this. What you do is you put that over top, like so. Now, that then, I don't know if you can see that, but that then creates a suction seal underneath, like so. And it keeps it fresh, it keeps it warm until everyone's ready to come and eat. Now, I can see that I've got like almost 30 viewers, but I can't see any messages. Oh, that's because I didn't put it on, so my apologies. Hello, everyone. Hi, Nanny, again. Hi, Maria. Is it Maria or Marina? Marina. Hi, Chris. Tamisha, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you. Hi, Brian. Hi, Carol. I am feeling much better, my darling. Hi, Carol, Vinny. I can see you now. I'm so sorry. I couldn't see your messages. Hello. I'm here. Oh, my God. That's fab. It is, isn't it? I didn't even know it myself. It's brilliant. So many people were like, how did you learn that? I was like, I don't know. I saw it on Facebook. You get these posts that people say like, how old were you when you learned that this? And I was like, I am today's years old. I never knew how to do it. It's brilliant. Absolutely fab. But, yeah, so my chicken is currently sizzling away and the good thing about that diced chicken is that it's mostly cooked already you just have to chuck it in and heat it up so this at the minute is just cooking through and then all I do is I split it up so that there's more chicken that goes around now I know some people are like don't use metal in your PKP I can't stand um wooden spoons oh you know, like, some people don't like the sound of polystyrene. That's something else that gets me. Like, people don't like polystyrene. They don't like, they don't like anything, like, that makes them go, ooh. I'm like that with wooden spoons. And people say, get the silicon ones that have got wooden on the bottom. It's still wooden. I don't like it. So, no, I don't like that at all. So, uh, yeah, I stick to using my metal spoons, even though it is now time for me i think for a new inner bowl because this one's marked quite a lot and i've had this one over two years this bowl alone which is brilliant so at the minute i am just chopping and set like halving my chicken because then that also makes it oh my camera's not focusing what's happened there there we go i like what was i saying yeah it's another little tip if you've got diced chicken and you want it to go further just halve it dice it up and halve it again just cut it in half i just use my spoon just to separate it and i'll show you in a minute what this looks like but just don't look at the bottom of my bowl because it is scratched up to the high heavens so that's my own fault for using it and i have used this machine every day of my life for the last two years so it's got it's definitely got its usage out of it anyway but i thought it'd be good to come live i know it is like nine o'clock at night but we've not eaten yet because we've had a bit of a long day um so we want a quick meal that's going to be really easy and really filling the good thing about this meal is not only is it filling and is it good for you but it's so quick to do as well which is absolutely fab now i'm not going to do any edits on this video it's going to be a full video straight through which we are going to do more of these videos to get people involved doing live cooking shows so you can see everything that's happening at the same time as me cooking it because that's the thing about my channel as everyone knows i am very real to the point and i will let you see what happens even if mistakes happen you guys will see it just like we will so as i said i'm just dicing up the chicken browning it off to a point oh i've turned my setting off with my big boobs apologies just set that back so my chicken now is relatively defrosted and it's all breaking up very very nicely which is fabulous now what i'm going to do when this is cooking because you put it on for six minutes and then you put it on for 12 minutes natural pressure release and then you open up the machine so it, during that time i'm going to be sitting and talking with you and if any of you've got any questions about what we've done so far then i'm happy to answer them now so that chicken is relatively done. So I'm going to push that to one side like this. And I'm just going to bring you over and show you how it is. So this is what I'm going to do. Ooh, how do you turn the camera? I'm new to this YouTube stuff. Right, so as you can see, my chicken is done. And I've chopped it all up. And all I do is simply push my, my uh, spoon through the chicken. 
and put it in half just so there's more to go around and that's how we like our chicken so once i've pushed that to the side like so i'm then going to crack two eggs into here and don't let them go like scramb at like hot like leaving them whole so they end up like fried you're going to do it so that it as soon as you do it you're just going to start mixing it and then it'll go into a scrambled consistency so i'm just going to pop you back up on the side just so i've knocked that bloody machine again oh i have a habit of doing that oh sorry I'm trying to get this phone to stay like the video i saw on facebook where an oxo should be crushed in the foil packet and then you tear it open yeah i didn't know that till about two years ago either lisa is it lisa yeah it was annoying hi sarah hi marilyn how are you my darlings hi angela hope you're all well i'm just trying to get my phone to stay so now that's on the side so two eggs what i'm going to do is crack them on the side don't get any shell in there drop them in and then same with the next egg drop them in and then with your spoon you're just going to start to mix it around otherwise you're going to end up with chicken and two fried eggs on the side so all I'm doing now is mixing that up I'm going to show you in a minute what it looks like so I'm just mixing my two eggs into the bottom making sure it's going to like a scrambled consistency rather than um, fried eggs and that's scrambling dead nicely Let's see what anyone else is saying just because the message is it's only when someone types a message that the messages pop back up so I can't see them very much so scramble two eggs into the machine the bowl sorry not into the machine so all you're doing is just mixing and mixing until you get that scrambled egg consistency now these are brilliant they are instant pot brands like I say but these you get the suction pot and you also get these little crocodile mitts and they are brilliant for just holding the side of the machine so it doesn't go all over the place which is brilliant so hi everyone i see uh, lots of new people joining what was that message not too bad thank you i can watch videos and now I have unlimited net instead of skipping through them. Oh, brilliant. That's fantastic, sweetheart. I'm hoping to do more videos now as well, though. So it'd be brilliant to get people involved and seeing you all watch me do the videos and also to see your creations because I love to see what other people create. Now, mine has gone like a scrambled egg consistency. I'm just going to come back and show you now what this looks like. Just one second. So you see now, that's now it looks, so we've got scrambled, we've got chicken and scrambled egg consistency like so. See that? Now all I'm going to do is mix that into the chicken as I've already done. Sorry if my bowl starts spinning round, I'm doing this one handed. So all I'm going to do is toss the chicken over, keep turning it, adding that egg to the chicken. And then all I'm going to do is leave that to sit for a minute and then give it another scrape around because otherwise the egg sticks to the bottom of the screen, to the bottom of the, uh, the pan, see, and that's a bit annoying. So just keep turning it and I'm going to leave that to sit for about 30 seconds. I'm just going to turn you back around and try and stand my phone back up again. Yay! This is so annoying having to do this. Fab. Right, so I'm just going to leave that to sit for 30 seconds now. What we're going to do now is do the rice. Now, this is a one kilogram bag of rice. Now, it says on my recipe that you need one and a half cups. Now, I can't find my PKP cup anywhere. So, where's that measuring thing you gone that I normally use? That's bloody buggered off as well. But instead, what I do is to say one and a half mugs, uh, one and a half cups, we use just a normal cup, okay? So what I'm going to do is just measure out. Now this would be more depending on the amount of people that you're cooking for. This specific recipe will do around four people for two large dish, uh, large dish each. Okay, so that's sat for thirty seconds, and I've knocked it with my bloody boobs again. 
put that back onto stew and soup. Now give it another stir and the egg would have broken down even more now. So now I've got lots of chicken and lots of egg all melted, all broken down into my machine. So now I've done that, I'm going to knock it off, cancel my function and this is where I start to add things. Now peas normally is one cup but again I'm doing this on a whim so I'm just going to add a lot of peas because peas are nice in this Ooh, they're all, they are frozen by the way if they want to come out of the packet that is just add in the rest of our peas that was left and this is why it's so good this recipe because there's literally when you cook it there is so much goodness in it you know you've got a bit of carb a bit of protein you've got your eggs your chicken your peas you've got everything in this so now my peas are in there i'll show you what this looks like in a minute so i've added my peas and although i've cancelled my function the heat from the bottom of that being preheated is still going so that's going to start to defrost the peas a little at the same time oh i haven't seen those messages Hi Sammy, love your videos, but ah, I don't use metal utensils, no. Oh, I love you too, sweetheart. I know, I can't use anything other than metal. I don't like the feel of silicon. I don't like the feel of um, wooden. Oh, wooden makes my skin crawl. It's horrible. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I need to use something. I don't want to use my hands. Even that spoon that comes with it, I don't like that either. We need to cater for people like me <laughs> right so in here now we've got chicken we have peas we have egg your two eggs scrambled and we also have salt and pepper and a little bit of chili what's that message there rachel i joined i posted this on my slimming world group and they loved it the ladies want me to make it in our next taster session oh that'd be amazing oh do let us know what they think of it it'd be brilliant to see your creation as well if you could take a few pics for us and post them on the group, Rach. That'd be amazing. Just make sure you tag me in it. Because I've got something amazing coming up that your dish would feature in. So let me know, okay? Looking forward to seeing this. Going to have it tomorrow for my dinner. Wow, brilliant. So hopefully, if this turns out right, you're going to be impressed. And that's what I like to see. So, that's all cooled down now. So my PKP is no longer hot. Chicken. Egg. Peas. Salt and pepper and a little bit of chilli. So, rice. If you can't find your PKP cup, don't worry about it. Boobs and this machine do not mix. Cancel that. So, one cup of rice to start with. So, we're just going to add that in. Mix it around. I'm going to show you what this looks like in a moment as well. Just give it a mix. And then, I'm going to add another cup. Because in the other video, it says one and a half. But this is, I can't show you this, but it's half full. So I'll just use the rest of my contents. And this is good for using up end of, end of bags and stuff. You know, if you've got that, like, that bit of sad onion sitting in the back of your fridge or if you've got a bit of mushroom left over, a little bit of rice and you want to get rid of it, go for it. Do it this way and it works perfect. Oh, my God. Big boobs don't mix with this machine. Right, so that is now my rice, my chicken. I'm just going to come over here and show you this so you can see it. Just one second. There we are. So that is the rice, the chicken, the peas, the salt and pepper, and a little bit of chilli in there, okay? So I'm going to bring you back over here to the next, ooh, next step. Oh, my God, what am I doing? Hang on a minute, guys. Sorry. I really need a decent phone stand instead of standing it on bloody... It's standing on my scales at the minute in the kitchen. don't know why, but... Right, so mix that all up. Mix that all up. And at the same time, whilst you're doing this, you can get rid of the, uh, the empty bags and stuff at the same time, which is really easy when your bin's right close to you. Right, so that's in. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt because now i've got my 
my rice and everything else in there. That's it. So that's that done. Now, soy sauce. No, actually, we're gonna do the um the stock first. So I'm just gonna reboil my kettle. It boils super quick anyway, but we're gonna fill this up to. One litre. So we've, now, in the other video, I found that doing 500 millilitres wasn't enough. So I amended it and it now goes for one litre because that way it covers everything in there. And the more rice that you add, the more of a liquid that you need to add because the rice cooks by soaking up the liquid and the stock. So, what was that? I knocked my machine on and off as well. Yeah, hashtag big boom problem. It's awful in it, so annoying. Now, stocks. I've got two chicken stock cubes in here. Just make sure they're small enough to uh let me get a spoon in it. Right, that's all smushed up now. What I'm going to do is add my one litre of water to this. Now, make sure you do it with boiling water. This is just boiled. So I'm going to add this in. As you can see, it's boiling. Give that a stir. I'm going to keep that there just in case I need any more hot water. I don't think I will, but just get rid of these clumps. It's really hot. So once that is fully stirred and you've got rid of all of your clumpy bits and whatnot, then you're going to bring it round and pour it into your mi machine, into your liquid, should I say, uh, into your PKP bowl. Now that liquid makes it sit just below the halfway mark on the machine, okay? So once I've added the final few ingredients, I'll bring you over so you can have a look and see how it all sits and then we'll be absolutely fine I don't know why I've moved that over there but it is so simple to do this and once you've done it once it's brilliant so you'll be cooking it over and over and over again I tell you now right so give that a mix stir it all around it looks really watery but don't worry about that because like I say the rice will soak up all of the liquid and you'll have no liquid left at all once this is finished, okay? So, now you've added everything, what you're going to do is get your soy sauce. Now, this is a new one, so I'm going to have to... I think there's a ring pull, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, pull the ring pull out. When it wants to come out. So, pull your ring pull out. Now, we don't like a lot of soy sauce at all. Now, how much you have is totally down to you. But all I'm going to do is just tip it into here. So, there's about, not even a quarter of a cup in there, just less than a cup, just less than a quarter of a cup of soy sauce in here. So I'm just going to tip that in and then I'm going to mix this around to give out everything that it needs. So that is all the ingredients added and done. Now, here comes the fun bit. Once you've got all your liquid, so in there so far, so we started off with chicken, then we did the peas, then we did the rice, then we did chicken stock, then we did soy sauce. Oh, and we did the two eggs at the beginning, sorry, should I say. So all the ingredients are in there. Hi there, hun. Hi, Nick. Cla oh. Kia I don't know, I never know how to say that name. Is it Sierra or Kiara? Ki Kiara. Hi, could I do the half the recipe in my three litre? Yes, you could, lovely. You could do it in your three litre. Just follow the exact same way that I'm doing it and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, but just remember, if you, you need to reduce the amount of ingredients that you're using. Um, you need to use, like, one... I think it's one cup of rice... Um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. One cup of rice, 
Um, you need to use the 500 milliliters of stock instead of a liter because obviously this is a bigger machine 500 mils of stock use your two oxo cubes because it still gives it enough flavor um and then oh what else was there sorry uh forgotten um chicken the same amount eggs still the same amount add your two eggs because you get your same amount of uh egg fried um what else was there same amount of same amount or more if you want of your um soy sauce um and it'd be the exact same timings as well so you could do it in your three and you can also do it in your five five liter is the same recipe as this one exactly the same doesn't matter about the extra bit of a size just you just reduce your liquid down to 750 mils rather than a liter but either way it will work not a problem um right i'm going to get this on then i'll answer any questions because that's what the time's going to be right so everything is in the machine i've given it a real good stir now i'm going to bring you over so you can see what it looks like this is completely normal okay there's no nothing wrong with it at all let me turn you around so as you can see oh whoops sorry i'm just knocking everything as you can see this is very watery and that is completely normal because now the rice is going to soak up all of our liquid and there's going to be no liquid left in there at all. So that is that done and ready to go on. So I'm going to bring you back round. Bear with me. Oh my word, I hate this bloody... I need a decent phone stand. If anybody wants to buy me one, let me know. You can have my address. I could do with a decent phone stand. Right, so six litre machine. This obviously has hinges on the back. So we can leave the lid on if we want to. But it's so annoying trying to get it. Oh, first time it went on. Right, so we pop the lid down, making sure valve is set to closed. Lock the lid. And you come down to your machine. Oh, what's that? Cancel that, sorry. Come down to your machine. And now for those that don't have this function, um, six litre models and for, uh, you need to set it to your rice function. Those that don't have it, just simply set it to your steam function and it works the same way. Or those that don't have steam can also set it to their meat function. It works exactly the same. So don't worry about that. Um, so what you're going to do is set it for, on the rice, steam or meat for six minutes and press start. When that finishes in six minutes, you're going to leave your machine so it beeps. Then it's going to click on to keep warm. You then leave it on keep warm for 12 minutes. Once that has finished, most of your steam has already escaped naturally. So when you open up your valve, there's just going to be a tiny bit of steam or it'll just open on its own. So don't worry about that. As soon as it's opened, I bet you any money when you try it, it comes out perfect. I'm not boasting here. But it does come out absolutely incredible. It's the best chicken fried rice I've ever, ever tasted. And that's because it's mine. No, seriously, because it is a brilliant recipe. And this machine, I don't know what I'd do without it. I mean, I've been waiting now for my um, my cooker to be fixed for about the last four months by my landlord. Because it was provided by him when I moved in. And we've only got the two small rings on the back and the front, well, the front and the back that's working. The two big rings, which you need for cooking, don't work because they just trip the electrics all the time, which is quite annoying. But if I didn't have my PKP, I don't know what I would have done. So this thing is literally a godsend to us. Like, I actually, I, I cook in it most days. There's barely any time. When I do meat now, I never, ever use my cooker. Never. I don't use it. The only time I use it is for stuffing and it's brilliant and then even then the stuffing can go in the air fryer it's it's absolutely fantastic and i wouldn't be without it for the slightest so now i'll show you what my machine's doing just as i bring my phone over um just one second so at the moment as you can see this is how the three the six litre works i don't know if i can get the the words on there so at the top it says heating which it's done then it's clicked onto the second one. Now this second one says starting pressure. Oh, sorry, that one it says starting pressure. So in a minute, it'll start boiling and whatnot. Then it'll go on to cooking and then it will say warm. So that goes on to keep warm. So whilst it's cooking, it'll go on to that phase. Then once that's reached pressure, it'll go to cooking. So that's what it's doing at the moment. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on here for the next 15-ish minutes whilst that's cooking and whilst everything is doing in the machine and I'm going to answer any questions you've got um, and we're going to stay live I think because seems like it's a uh, it's a good thing like we've had so many viewers on here tonight which I'm really really chuffed with because it's nice you know just to have everyone here and seeing things happen live and whilst I'm doing this I'm gonna have a cigarette so let me just drop my phone down so it stands properly there we go so questions let's see what was asked okay so I couldn't pronounce your name I'm sorry um I don't know if it was Chiara or Sierra um so I've asked I've answered your question uh, Chinese five spice yes you can add Chinese five spice and that's nice I just added like a medium chili powder that's it um, but I, I I like to um, what's the word experiment with different spices I mean Tart could have like she could eat the most hottest bloody chili in the world and still be like that's not even hot because she loves spicy stuff. Now me blows my bloody brains out. I can't stand, can't stand anything hotter than a korma, and that ain't even hot. So you know you can see what my level of spice is. Um, so I just go. I'm just trying little bits at different times. I used to be. Um, I used to have a problem with dairy from when I was very very small, very small age, uh, where I. Um, Every time I ate dairy, I was very poorly as a baby. I was always having hospital admissions and stuff. Um, but now I'm an adult, I'm still having those issues. And most of my issues are with milk and cheese and anything that contains that. Now, since I got asked by the doctor to do more of like a food diary and try the different foods to see how it worked and see what was actually causing my issues, so I had to try things to eliminate them. And uh, I tried normal cheese which made a really bad effect on me but then i tried mature cheddar and oh my god i've never had that before and it was delicious and that didn't have an effect on me so we're just trying to work out at the moment like what what affects me and what doesn't now i'm going to stand by the back door now and have a cigarette and i'm hoping that my signal doesn't go if it does i'll switch on to 4g so just bear with me don't run away if it loses you actually i'm going to do that now so it doesn't cut off one minute guys Hoping this don't cut off. Oh, right, okay. Am I still here? Can everyone still hear me? Is what a jam roly poly? What can you see? Jam roly poly? Where are you looking, Brian? Jam roly poly? Are you looking at my cigarette? Fab, I'm glad you can still hear me. Let me just grab a lighter. A jam roly, what do you want about a jam roly poly? You want about my cigarette? Yes, it's a roly. But yeah, so that's currently on now and building pressure. So we're just waiting on that now. But is there any questions, anyone? Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I missed a load of questions here, haven't I? Can I add three cups of rice? And if so, how much more liquid? So if you want to add three cups of rice, Brunei's, then all you do is add three cups of rice and then increase the liquid by 250 mils per time. So if you're going to add two, um, if you're going to add two extra cups, then you're going to add 500 milliliters of water extra or chicken stock extra. Um, alternatively you can just leave it at that but trust me you'll see how much comes out there is loads in that to freeze you like that would be enough for now for me and Therese to eat like two dishes today each if we wanted it and a dish for tomorrow but I, I don't like eating it overnight unless it's been frozen because it goes a bit frumpy um, I cook whole chicken legs first with stock cubes then follow using the recipe using the chicken stock from chicken oh is that for this recipe jan do you use chicken like normal chicken legs and then like just debone them 
Jam roly poly, what did you mean? Brian, tell me what you meant by a jam roly poly. Could you use brown rice instead of white? Yes, you can. However, Marilyn, we figured, I tried to do a normal recipe with rice before on one of my videos that you can go back and have a look at on the channel. Um, we tried to do uh, brown rice just on its own to see how rice would come out because nobody could ever get the ratio right for brown or white rice. So what we found is brown rice takes twice as long cooking than what white rice does so i would imagine if you're going to do this recipe white rice in this recipe takes six minutes so if you're going to do so six minutes and then afterwards um you leave it for 12 minutes so in your case if you're doing it with brown rice put it on for 12 minutes and leave afterwards for 24 minutes on keep warm that's how it would work Rachel, where did your message go? It says message retracted. I can't see it. No worries, Brune. If there's anything else you want to know, then do ask away because I've got like 15, 20 minutes now to waste until this finishes so I can show you the outcome. How are you all enjoying the, um, the live video anyway? Are you enjoying the aspect of being able to be in my kitchen whilst i'm cooking so you can see exactly how i do it or would you prefer to have the normal videos where it's edited and cut out and you can just see bits as i'm doing it what way would you prefer because i'd like to see um different people's opinions because if it's uh, if it's that people like me doing the live videos more then i will do them more so you can see me physically cooking rather than having an edited video. I'm I'm all about trying new things now. So I want right. So my machine has just clicked. I'm not sure if you heard that. So that's now in the cooking process. So it's six minutes and counting down. But yeah, I'd like to see people's opinions on whether they prefer the live videos or if they prefer me to do. Because on here, I might just say that what I'm going to do is do live, like do normal videos and post them on the Facebook group. For those that want to see me live cooking, it'll be over on the YouTube channel. Call it like a little special deal for those that come onto the YouTube channel. They get to see me live cooking. Because so I can do it on Facebook, but there's more of a wider audience through YouTube that people that don't have Facebook use YouTube more. So it's handy for those to see as well. So I'm trying to sort of work out things and I've got my bullet journal this year so I'm planning things out and seeing how things go and seeing what people like yeah certain days Sarah I think that's right so I'm hoping to try and do um, two videos a week at least at the moment so one will be at the start of the week say on a Monday and then the other video will be on a Saturday um, and I'm going to try and mix it up a bit maybe do a main meal at the start of the week and at the end of the week do a dessert because I've not actually tried doing any desserts in my PKP yet so um, I'm hoping that mixing it up and getting more people involved in the channel and doing things that people actually want to see that would be really good and put more people will get involved in which is what I want so let's have a look at these comments sorry I've missed a few Where are we? Yep, it is great, Hen. Thank you, Nanny. Rachel, I like the live videos. Marilyn, thank you, Sammy. You're very welcome, honey. That angle's no good for my face. <laughs> um, King Pro, Nicola. King Pro in the air fryer I treated myself to two months ago. Oh, my God, I wish I brought long ago. Long ago. <laughs> Quicker, far more economical, very far more healthy. Yes, Sammy, I would love more live. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I've also got the air fryer hunt, and I'm hoping to maybe do a few videos for that as well. Um, but that's obviously a bit controversial because some people are like, well, it's a PKP group, not an air fryer group. So we have got another group for the air fryer, but I don't use it as much. And I think after realising how big the PKP group was getting, I didn't have enough time because I was the only admin at the time. I mean, I'm very lucky at the minute because I've got two lovely moderators that are helping me out, which is what I needed. Because I was running myself into the ground doing it all on my own. 
So I'm really grateful for the help that I've been given by um, Joe and Carly. They've been brilliant. So thank you once again, my ladies. You've been amazing so far. Um, I like the live videos, Marilyn. I tried the brown rice and it failed, but we'll definitely try this one again. Yeah, just try again. Like I say, Brune, it's all about trial and error with this machine. So just go for it. Yes. Jan, yes, little sell a pack of four under two pound. Also, I take the chicks off the bone, shred them, shred the bones. Oh, okay, that sounds pretty good. I might have to try it that way rather than using the chicken that we're using. I'm all about trying new things. I also added, Nanny, I also added a small amount of frozen prawns and sweet corn. I want to try and do this recipe, but with beef, prawns, pork, chicken and beef so it's like special fried rice i'd like to try and do that yay i was gutted i missed your live earlier hi ania and is it An ania or ania ania we're a family of six so i'm glad i brought the pkp i love your videos where is the pkp group facebook yes it is my darling um i'm going to pop it in the link to the description a bit later uh, once I finish the video, I'll go back and edit it so the link's on there. Um, it's Sammy's, so that's S A M M I E. If you just type in my name, the group will come up. So it's Sammy's Pressure King Recipe Group. If you click on there and join, I'll make sure that you're added to the group this evening. Um, and we are at almost 20,000 members, which is ridiculous. In two years, almost two years, I think it's two years, we have built up such a community. No group on Facebook for PKP at all. And I was the one that set up the starting group for it, which was phenomenal. And it's gone from being, I didn't even expect to get 200 people in the group, let alone nearly 20,000 of you, which is amazing. So I'm just so thankful because you guys have helped me make this group. So it's brilliant. But yeah, join us, Anya. It'd be brilliant to have you over there. Nanny, sounds good. Does indeed. Rachel, I used three PKP cups of rice and used 500 mils of water. I've got a five litre. Yes, add more water. Like I say, I've done two cups of water in there, which those cups probably equivalent. Equivalent? Is that even a word? Equate. Sorry, that's the word. That probably equates to about two and a half cups of the PKP rice. Like the PKP cup in rice. So... I mean, I've I've added like a litre and a little bit of extra water in that. So definitely, for what you're doing, you definitely need more water. Did you find that it was really stodgy? Did you find that it was like some rice was cooked, some rice wasn't? Was that how you found? Sarah Cannon, best group ever. Thank you, Sarah. Really appreciate you saying that. Um, bones back in cook recipe take bones out before serving oh, that sounds brilliant Jan I'll have to try it right there we go that has now beeped so that means now we leave it now for 12 minutes until after so 12 minutes after um Rachel yes right yeah so if you found that's what's happened then you definitely need more liquid sweetheart do that and then let me know the outcome and I bet you any money it comes out perfect Anya, well that, oh okay, let me try and pronounce that, Une, is it, Un... is it U, Unea, or is it, Anea, Anea, is that right, An... Anea, oh yeah, Anea, that makes sense, I think I got it now. Um, I don't have an Instagram, but I am actually thinking about getting one because lots of people use Instagram and I think it'd be good to share some dishes on there. But yes, if you are interested in me having a YouTube, uh, an Instagram channel, then let me know in the comments, let me know in there. And if we get more and more than like a few people that say yes, then I will set one up this evening. Because I've got loads of dishes that I can share on there. Might try one litre next time then as well. Yeah, definitely try and let one litre and let me know how it turns out because it should turn out perfect then. I mean, you'll see in a minute that mine comes out perfect and I wouldn't do it any other way now. I mean, before I even got my PKP, I'd never dream of trying, a chi trying to make chicken fried rice on the, ho on the hob. I wouldn't know where to bloody start. 
so yeah let me know if you fancy an instagram channel as well to try and update you know with other recipes and stuff we can do like certain recipes that'd be brilliant Sammy, could you set up a PayPal donate account? It would get you more funds. Are you meaning you'd like to donate to me, Stephen? If you would like to, I have a, I already have a PayPal set up for the group, which is just my full name, which is Sammy Hughes, all one word, S A W M W I E at yahoo.com. If you'd like to donate to it, then feel free because this year we're hoping to maybe launch a book which is why we need lots of funds to be donated if possible. Um, so we're hoping to raise money to make a member's recipe members recipe book for members, well, for PKP users by the members and the users of our group. So we're hoping to set up a group, uh, a specific book with all your fantastic recipes in for you to download and buy, which isn't going to be very much. We won't be charging a lot for it. It's going to be an e-book. So it's all online um, and we are hoping to get that set up as soon as we reach the goal. Um, people have donated a few dribs and drabs so far but the total to start with we need at least £150 now including the admin fees which I didn't include last time. So it was at £100 but it's been increased to £150 with all the charges and stuff. So we're hoping to try and raise as much money as we can for that so if you'd like to donate then please feel free i don't know if i can type on here like how i how you can on facebook but Stephen, if you inbox me send me a private message on facebook sammy hughes um there's a picture of me with my l play thingy with my drive past my driving test send me a private message and i'll send you my paypal um yeah, if you send me a message as well, honey. Um, I forgot how to say your name. Um, yeah, the lady that I have trouble spelling name. If you send me a PM as well, I'll send you my, my um, Facebook and uh, my PayPal as well for you to donate if you want to. But please don't feel obliged. You don't have to. Um, like I say, I am going to try and get around to doing it at some point this year. Uh, it's just trying to raise the funds for it. And obviously I'm not working at the moment, so it's a bit of a pain. But I would love to be able to create something brilliant for everyone that people would be wanting and I know people have been wanting it for a while now so we're nowhere near our target either yet so we need to try and raise as much as we can so yeah one thing about the booklet right if you look at it there's one dish for the fish and it tells you to put the fish in the bottom of the PKP with no water, no nothing. If you do that, your machine's likely to blow up because you've got nothing to cook it in, um, which is terrible. And they didn't realise that until we pointed it out and they changed it when they brought the new the new machine out um, in the recipe books. They took that recipe out because we pointed out that if they did that, they were about to blow up their machine. Great, thanks. Looking forward to it. Did my poached eggs and banana bread. Oh, banana bread. How did your banana bread go? Is it Sierra or Kiara? I don't know how to say your name. So many people with funky names. They're lovely names, but I just never know how to say them, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry. Terrible names. Did you do just your poached eggs in there, or did you say you're doing your banana bread in it tomorrow? Because I'd be really excited to hear how you do that. And if it works well, would you send me your recipe so that we can include it in the book? That'd be fantastic. I've got to go see how long's left on this, and then we'll talk for a few more minutes, then we'll open up the machine and get it dished up. door handle so hard right let's have a look see what we're left on so we're currently on six minutes we've got another six to go so i'm going to pop you up here and get our uh, dishes and stuff out ready for food my family's mixed so we eat a lot of indian and caribbean food would love to send some recipes also can i do that on the facebook group what would be amazing is it if you tried a a follower's recipe yeah so 
I encourage everyone to send recipes and, you know, get involved in all different types of cuisines. And definitely Indian and Caribbean food would be brilliant. Um, my part, you know, people all over the place ask me for recipes. And in this house, let's just say Indian and Caribbean food would be welcomed massively. So if you want to send me a direct private message rather than posting the recipes on the group send it to me first then what i can do is i will try the recipe live and what i will do then is if people want the recipe i will include it on the um on the thread um and i will then say you know it was the recipe is given by this person so it'll be given by yourself and you will get full credit for that um recipe and if it is liked by other people and other people try it then it will also be included in the book if you want that to be included i'm hoping to do as many as i can jan your message was retracted my darling do you want to send that again so i'm just going to get my dishes out now um and get ready Ugh. as everyone knows my harry potter my harry potter bowl. so i leave this out now because i'm going to pop that on top of the, the rice once it's finished and dished up so that i can then leave that to cool and it can be um, lid on while it's cooling. So we've got four minutes left before I can dish up. So not long left at all. I would love a, cur a goat curry. Yeah, lots of people have said about curried goat. So if you've got any of those recipes, hun, can you send them me in a private PM? Um, on Facebook or I'll message you after this are you on Facebook under your name it'd be easy if you message me first just go into the group and find my name um, I'm at the top somewhere um, if you click on the members and then click admins you'll see me on the top or just look for my name in the group because I'm in there somewhere um, find me and then just send me a PM and I'm more than happy to have a look at the recipes and try them out for you um, and see what members are interested in it I'm just going to get things sorted for dinner whilst you guys are still there. I apologise for the lack of stuff in between. Because like normally, I'll normally cut the video whilst I'm waiting for it to cook. Saves you guys having to wait. But you know, it is what it is. But that's the old thing about doing it live. Everyone needs to see what's happening and they get to see everything. But it's just that boring bit in between, isn't it? But I don't want to cut it off because obviously you guys are enjoying it and that's the main thing. So it's all good. So we have two bowls and two spoons. We literally just have this now as it comes. We don't even have any curry or anything with it. I think that's what I'm going to try next time because I've got my two machines. I've got my six litre and my three litre. I might try doing the rice in the one and then doing a curry in the other and try and mix it up a bit and having a bit of curry with it or something. Like I say, it's all about trial and error. Let me just put my Wi-Fi back on. Don't want it to cut out. Right, are we still on? Are we still live? Yeah, good. Um, right, messages. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so if you send me those messages, honey. The lady, I can't say your name. <laughs> um, yeah, do the shopping. And fingers crossed. We can have it done. Right, that's on 10 minutes. So we've got two minutes left now. Um, let's see if there's anything else I need to mention to you. Like I say, we're going to start by doing a few more live videos. Then we're going to get on and start doing um, some... Tomorrow, tomorrow, that's one thing I do need to talk to you about. Tomorrow is cake day. So my first attempt ever in the PKP with a cake. And we're doing this lovely chocolate cake kit from asda um we're doing it straight into these lovely disposable they're perfect size for the pkp perfect uh 20 disposable cake liners they're seven inches which fits perfectly in the pkp if you're going to use them a little hint from one of our lovely members is to use two of them so that when you're cooking, the bottom of it, the cake doesn't get burnt in the bottom layer. You put two in um, and then pour your mixture. Put them two together, pour your mixture into the top one and the bottom one then will stop the cake from being burnt across the bottom. So do that. Uh, that's going to come up tomorrow. Um, that one will be an edited video because of how long it takes for it to cook. And I'm not standing around for 58 minutes while it cooks. So that one will be like a pre 
edited video so you will see that on the YouTube channel some point tomorrow evening now we've got one minute left on this and then I'm gonna release the rest of the pressure and I'm gonna show you lovely people who stuck with me <laughs> what the contents is of this um, Jan for some reason my darling your messages keep being retracted and I don't know why um, all right so we're on 12 minutes now so I'm gonna go ahead um, let me make sure my phone's not going to go anywhere. Oh, shite. Turn that there. Bring the machine out. Ah, that's super hot. Right, so I'm just going to try and release the rest of this pressure. Excuse the noise. Just wipe that liquid off the top. I'm looking forward to the cake so I'm looking forward to showing you the contents of this now as well because it's done you guys that have stuck with me you are legends so thank you for staying with me I really appreciate it we're just going to let this pressure out now there's only a little bit left in the valve's going to drop I'm going to take the lid off I'll have a look at the mixture well the contents sorry I'll give it a bit, a bit of a mix round so you can see the full extent of it and I'll turn the video around so you can have a look Bear with me. Like I say, there's no liquid. It looked like there was liquid left in this, but there's actually not. Let me turn this camera around so you can have a look. I got a bit panicked then. I thought there was liquid in it, but there's not. There is the final outcome, guys. Let me see if I can hold this camera up now without it going off. There is the final mixture, and it looks amazing. So let me get this dished up whilst I'm on camera, and I will show you the final outcome once it is done and dished up in the bowls. So bear with me a minute. Stand that there. Right, bowls. Let me just cancel my uh, keep warm function. Make sure I'm slicing this downward so that it separates it all and makes it nice. The only downfall to this is because it was in there, sometimes the bottom of the uh, the rice, anything that's at the bottom goes a bit brown. So it's like, uh, I mean, it's not a downfall really because it just adds the extra bit to, like, you know, when you get fried rice, it's like that. Right, so let me show you this now and then I can dish mine up and go and sit down to eat. Right, let me this. Oh, I've lost it. One second. There we have it. That is chicken and egg fried rice all done in the PKP. And it looks absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to sit down and eat that. And that's tops now done. And then that is for tomorrow, my darlings. Chocolate cake. So there's tonight's outcome. And then tomorrow we'll be on with the chicken fried rice. Uh, the chocolate cake. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? It looks amazing, doesn't it? I can't wait to sit down and eat it. I love this. It's one of the best recipes that we ever do. And Top could eat this all day, every day. But yeah, there we go. That is the chicken fried rice recipe. I hope you've enjoyed this live video. Um, and I'll be back with you tomorrow with our chocolate cake. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if you'd like to join the, the recipe group on Facebook, it's Sammy's Pushkin Recipe Group. I will get set up the Instagram tonight for you if you'd like it. And this can be one of our first dishes. So I'll make sure to take a nice picture of it. Um, anything that you guys need answered, you know, any questions, queries, you know where I am. You know to inbox me or tag me on the page and I'll help as much as I can. Um, yeah, so 
I hope you've enjoyed. Um, and if anybody does want to donate towards the book that we're going to be releasing this year, just let me know and I will leave my PayPal at the bottom. Actually, no, just I'll leave it in the group. And if you want to donate, then please do let me know. Um, and hopefully we should see a member's recipe book coming out very, very soon. Um, thank you for sticking with me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed and I will catch you all in another video.